bright duty every student matters now let's look at the first question which of the following pair of teeth differ in structure but are similar in function so we've seen that uh, there are basic three functions of the teeth uh, these were biting and uh, cutting then there was uh, tearing and the third was chewing and grinding so uh, there were two types of teeth which were different in structure but the function was same and those were premolars and molars right so molars and premolars is the answer to this question these are the chewing and grinding type of teeth chewing and grinding now the next question the enzymes present in saliva convert starch uh, fats into fatty acid and glycerol starch into simple sugar so we know we've done the activity as well and we know that the enzymes that are present in the saliva they convert the starch into simple sugars name the parts of alimentary canal so uh, as we saw that alimentary canal is a continuous uh, you can say the pipe like structure wherein the different parts of the uh, alimentary canal have modifications so when we are talking about the parts of alimentary canal it starts with the buccal cavity it's very easy to remember students you just have to go from from the upper part of your body towards the lower part so buccal cavity then you have esophagus then you have stomach small intestine large intestine big rectum and then you have anus at the end so this is the whole uh, alimentary canal and these are the different parts of the same alimentary canal right now name the different types of teeth so there are four types of teeth first is the incisors then the second type is canines third type is premolars and the fourth type is molar so these are the four types of teeth that are present in all human beings what are the functions of tongue in human body so there are various functions of tongue the first function of tongue is that it assists us in talking the second function is mixing of food with saliva next function is swallow helps in swallowing and detects taste so in this way these are the four important functions that are associated with tongue in the human body what are milk teeth and permanent teeth so milk teeth are your temporary teeth temporary teeth and this is usually from infancy that is from 6 months to your uh, about age of 8 years right all of the milk teeth they usually uh, fall off at 8 years of age then the permanent teeth are the set which are as the name suggests permanent right and they start coming at the age of 10 uh, year when this uh, at the age of 8 year when the teeth start falling so milk teeth are replaced by the permanent teeth and they uh, you know remain in the body uh, or rather i should say because they are permanent they stay they are present in the mouth for your whole life or till the old age right 
So in this way we see that this is the main difference between the two. Milk teeth are the first set of teeth, these are less in number, these are only 20 whereas the permanent teeth are 32 in number. Right? So these are the difference, this is the difference between the uh, milk teeth and the permanent teeth. So in this way students we talked about the different kinds of teeth, we talked about the tongue and the importance of it, the function and we talked about the salivary gland and we saw that the digestion process actually starts in the mouth itself with the digestion or the beginning of digestion of your starch, right? So in this way we see how important the buccal cavity is in the process of digestion. The swallowed food moves downwards in the alimentary canal because of force provided by muscular tongue, the flow of water taken with the food, gravitation pull, the contraction of muscle in the wall of food pipe. So this is the answer. The contraction of the muscles of the food pipe allows the food to move downwards towards the stomach. The acid present in the stomach, what is the function they are asking? Kills the harmful bacteria that may enter the enter along with the food, protects the stomach lining from harmful substances, digests starch into smaller sugars, makes the medium alkaline. So the answer is it kills the harmful bacteria that may enter along with the food. Also, it makes the medium medium acidic. Right? What are secreted inside the stomach? So there are three things which are secreted. First is the mucus. Second is hydrochloric acid. And third is the digestive juices. Name the part of digestive canal that is involved in killing of bacteria. So the part is stomach because it contains HCLs, it contains acid that is hydrochloric acid which kills the bacteria that might enter the body along with the food. Fat is completely digested in the stomach, mouth, small intestine or large intestine. So we saw that the complete digestion of carbohydrate, fat and protein occurred in the small intestine. Right? So, uh, in this way, we can simply understand that fat is completely digested into fatty acid and glycerol in the small intestine. Water from the undigested food is absorbed mainly in the stomach, food pipe, small intestine or large intestine. So, the answer is large intestine because water and salts that, uh, that, are, that might have been in the food, undigested food are absorbed in the large intestine. What are villi? What is their location and function? So villi are the finger-like projections, finger-like projections that are located in small intestine. Right, and they perform the function of absorption of nutrients. Right now, moving ahead, what are what where is the bile produced? Which component of the food does it help to digest? So, bile is produced in the liver and it helps to digest fat. Right? A got her gallbladder removed surgically as she was diagnosed with stones in her gallbladder. After surgery, she faced problems in digestion of certain food items when consumed in bulk. Can you tell which kind of food items would they be and why? So, as we know that gallbladder is, uh, you know, a, a organ where the bile that is released by the liver is stored and whenever required, the bile is secreted in the small intestine. 
when the gall bladder is removed uh, what happens is that the bile is directly uh, you know it the bile is not stored in the gall bladder anymore and what happens is that it is directly released into the small intestine now we know that bile is utilized for the digestion of or is assists it assists in the digestion of fat so any oily product whenever she would have eaten any kind of oily product it would have been difficult for her to digest it because of the absence of gall bladder and the problem of uh, you know release in the bile so the fatty food right so fatty food that is oily food which contains a lot of fat will be uh, you know it will be problematic for her to digest it because bile is not stored in the will not be able will not be stored will not be stored in the gall bladder and because of that what will happen it, when it will not be stored in the gall bladder and because so it what will happen that it will not be available for the digestion of such oily food which contains a lot of fat right so in this way we saw the ha, ha, that how digestion takes place in human beings and what kind of what are the different organs that are involved in it and what are their function i hope you were able to understand this topic thoroughly thank you